special trip just for y'all. What you think? Yeah. They traveled a long way, you know? <laughs> long way. <laughs> um, hello, Joseph. Can you hear me? <coughs> Joseph. Oh. oh, yes. Yes, I can hear you. Yes. <laughs> No, they did not like me at all. They did not like me at all, and uh, and I don't know why. I, you know, I, I don't know why my brothers um, did not like me. Um, my father um, gave me a coat of many colors. I was his favorite child, and uh, and he gave me a coat of many colors, and I wore it all the time. You know, but I don't know why my brothers did not like me. Um, I had a dream uh, that my brothers uh, would uh, would uh, bow down before me, and uh, and my brothers did not like that dream too good. No, they didn't. I, they didn't. I don't know why they did not like me. So, what did your brothers do? Uh, my brothers uh, threw me into a pit, and uh, and then they sold me into Egypt as a slave. And uh, they took my coat of many colors and they ripped it up, they put blood on it, and they told my father uh, that an animal uh, had, uh, had uh, uh, eaten me. And I could not believe that they did that. I just, I could not believe uh, <laughs> that they did that. So what happened in Egypt? Well, in Egypt, um, I went to Potiphar's house. I worked in Potiphar's house, and you know he was a very important man in Egypt, and uh, and, and I worked for him. And and Egypt, and, and, and Potiphar, he he uh, he really liked me, and uh, and his wife, uh, she really liked me too. <laughs> and uh, one day, uh, she tried to uh, how do you say uh, she. Uh, she tried to to uh, kiss me, and, uh, and and I noted that you know that was wrong because uh, that was Potiphar's uh, wife. Uh, so I said uh, you know no 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 no. no. <laughs> And she got mad with me, and she told Potiphar some lies about me, you know, and and, uh, and he believed all the lies, so he, he threw me into prison, you know, and I stayed there for a good little while. And um, but then while I was there, uh, Pharaoh uh, had some dreams, and as I interpret dreams, they took me before Pharaoh, and I interpreted his dreams. And uh, I told Pharaoh what his dream meant, and and uh, and, and, and Pharaoh, uh, from that point on, I, I think that Pharaoh uh, liked me. So what happened to your brothers? All of my brothers. Oh, yeah, they were bad, 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 bad boys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, their land went into a drought. And uh, they had no more food, so they had to go. Uh, they had to go to uh, to uh, Egypt to get food. What well, they they did not know uh, that they would have to stand uh, before me. Oh, you must have gotten them back good. No, no, I forgave them. You know, you <laughs> see, uh, you cannot love God if you hate your brother. Uh, it doesn't matter what your brother uh, has done to you, you still got to love your brother. And uh, you, you have to love everybody, you know, regardless of what they've done. And, uh, oh, but however, my, my dream um, that my brothers uh, would bow down before me, uh, that dream came true. And, and God knew that the children of Israel uh, would, uh, would, would, would uh, <laughs> need food. Uh, so he sent me to Egypt to help save food for the drought. Were your brothers scared to see you? They did not recognize me. Uh, can you believe that? Can you believe that they did not recognize me? Uh, they did not recognize, you know, their own brother. Uh, well, I finally told them who I was, and we all hugged and cried, you know, and, and they went and they got my father and brought him back uh, to Egypt. And uh, he could not believe that his son uh, was uh, uh, was still alive. 
Wow, that's an awesome story. Oh, well, it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. If you read your Bible, uh, <laughs> you will read about Joseph the Dreamer. And, uh, and that is me. I'm right there in the Bible. <laughs> okay, thanks so much. Okay. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next we have Moses and he is coming to visit us. <laughs> He can't see what that is. I told y'all and I told you. Stop that bickering and complaining over there and I told you. You're getting on my nerves. You keep right on. I'm going to call fire down from heaven on you. Don't we do that? I'm sure I'm sorry. <laughs> I understand that you led the children of Israel out of Egypt. Yeah. Only because God told me to. How in the world did you get them out of Egypt? Well, let me tell you that story. That wasn't easy. First of all, I had to go talk to Pharaoh. I told me to be honest. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, you need to bow down to God. He looked at me and he said, Moses, me, bow down? Never. I said, look here, bud. If you don't, God's going to send some plagues down here upon you. And sure enough, that's what happened. He sent frogs. He sent lights. He sent fire. He even sent death. So, he never wanted to budge. Because he was a hard case. Hard case. I understand that God parted the Red Sea for you. Yes, he did. That was amazing. There we were, standing up. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Red Sea in front of us. Pharaoh's army coming behind us. But let me tell you what happened. God said, stand still. And he parted the Red Sea. And when he parted the Red Sea, he didn't just part the Red Sea. He parted the Red Sea and we went over on dry ground. Dry ground. There wasn't no moisture nowhere. On dry ground, we walked across the Red Sea. When we went through that place, Right on through the Red Sea on the dry ground, we ended up Mount Sinai. And right then, it's when God called me up that He gave me the Ten Commandments. Have people obeyed the commandments? <laughs> no, they break them every day. Several of them. Every day. I'm talking every day. About every minute. If you really want to know the truth about it. About every minute. They're, they're, they're just like a bunch of church people. Just like a bunch of church people, you think things are going right. Next thing you know, there's a bunch of bigger than our end. Just a bunch of bigger than our Hey, put that down. I told y'all, leave that stuff alone. You know the eighth man, thou shalt not steal. Put it back. Put it back. I mean it. Oh. Go right ahead, man. So what happened after that? Well, I'll tell you what. After we got out there, we were walking in the woods. And we went to camp. And we sent spies in, or let me put it this way, they sent spies in. They sent spies in, and when they come back, they said, oh, it, there was giants there and great walls. They were scared to death. Didn't have the faith in God. The God that just parted the Red Sea, the God that got them out of Egypt. And they didn't have faith in Him. So there they are, walking around in the wilderness. For 40 years we walked around out there in that wilderness. 40 years. My legs are still hurting from walking so long. <laughs> Hard-headed bunch of people. Hard-headed. Just like, just like I said before, just like a bunch of church people. You can't do nothing with them. They're hard-headed. Hard-headed. Well, that doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun. Well, I'm going to tell you, it wasn't no fun. It wasn't no fun at all. But you know, God supplied us even when we were out there. Even though we disobeyed him, he still supplied out there. He sent manna down from heaven. He sent manna down from heaven. And they still weren't happy. Still weren't happy. Forty years, sister. Think about that. Forty years we walk around out there in the wilderness. Okay, Moses. Well, thank you for your time. And I thank you for your time too, ma'am. And you have a wonderful day. <laughs> All right. We've got one more.
for guests for tonight. Jonah is coming to see us. Hello, Jonah. <laughs> Why are you wet? I just got swallowed by a whale. You just got swallowed by a whale? Yes. How did that happen? Well, God told me to go to Nineveh and to preach, but I didn't want to go. There ain't nothing there but a bunch of hormones and heathen down there. So I got on a ship that was going in the opposite direction. I thought I was going to run away from God. <laughs> did that work? No. He was there the whole time. He still a storm that almost sunk the ship that I was on. It was rocking. Back and forth and back and forth. Then I almost screwed. <laughs> so what did you do? Well, I finally told those guys to just throw me overboard because I knew where the storm had came from. And sure enough, just as soon as they did, the storm began to calm. So did you swim to shore? No. God sent a big old fish to came and he just swallowed me up. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> yeah, and let me tell you, that fish had heartburn or something. Whew. Did he ever stink? So, what happened after you were swallowed? I stayed in there for three days. Three long days. So, what did you do while you were in there? What would you have done? I prayed, Lord, please let me out of here. I'll go wherever you want me to go. I'll do whatever you want me to do. I'll preach to whomever you want me to preach. It doesn't matter. Just let me go, please. And on the third day, he threw me up upon the shore. So what are you going to do now? What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to go and preach before God sends another well my way. Wait, do you hear that, guys? I think I heard another well coming. I must go. I must go. <laughs> All right. That was John. Let me tell you what. They come running out from behind this cactus right here, and they run over here to this mountain. When they got to this mountain, they tried to hide behind this cactus. This little burger right here, he came up there, and buddy, let me tell you something. He got a hope to him. And all of a sudden, here they come. They run out. And they run in that wilderness for 40 years. They run in that wilderness because of that little booger right there. And we named this little booger here Lucifer. <laughs> he run them and run them and run them. They even went to a place where they seen a land that was full of milk and honey. But them idiots, they kept right on running from this cottage right here. And all they had to do was get back behind this cactus and pray to God. And it been took care of them. And that's the weather report. <laughs> And what we have right here is a broke camera. Stop that bickering and quarreling. I'm tired of it. All the time. All the time. I'm sorry, dude. Go right ahead. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I got tickles coming in here. <laughs> we will, but don't you need to be wet before we do the video? Don't you need to have a glisten? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. Do you need to put more? <laughs> Hello! Hello! I'm wet! Did that work? No, he was there the whole time. He sent a storm that almost sunk the ship that I was on. It was rocking back and forth and back and forth that I almost puked. <laughs> <laughs> well, finally, I told those boys to throw me overboard because I knew there was a storm and it came from me. Yeah? Uh, no, no, I, I forgave them, you know, I, I forgave them. I, you, you see, you cannot, um... You cannot love God if you hate your brother. Uh, it doesn't matter what they have done to you. Uh, you have to love anybody. You have to love everybody and, and, and everybody. Uh, me, 
Well, those dreams came true. And, and God knew that the children of Israel, you know, would, would need food. So he sent me to Egypt to, to help save the food for the drought. 